My dear people of God, I greet you all. I acknowledge and bless all your protocols. We have been invited to this national prayer for repentance and forgiveness. by the President. I very much hope and I believe that the majority of us so innocent, so good, so sincere in heart have really come to pray. Your Excellency, the reason why I came here today to this prayer is because I know that the weak, the poor, are the ones going to come to pray. And that is why I really decided to come to pray. Because these ones, as we just see them now, how they are bearing this heat, this sun, are the very ones who are touched. In their life, with the difficult and desperate situation of our country. We have come to pray so that God may open our hearts. I think this is the reason why we want to pray. So that God may open our hearts to accept what is really wrong with us. What is really wrong with us in this country? I am praying during this prayer so that we accept what is really wrong in our country. So that we accept it and so, as we have been in this heat, in this moment, our repentance, our forgiveness will have a meaning. Your Excellency, we are praying. May God grant us the result of this prayer. This prayer, Your Excellency, the way I look at it, this situation that we are seeing with us and among us and in front of us, this bitterness of this heat of our situation is a double-edged sword for us all. This prayer today, I think, is a dangerous prayer. It is a difficult prayer for us all. But it is especially for somebody, and a few of us, I believe, who might have not prayed well, who might not have prayed with clear conscience, and who might not have prayed with the right intention. This prayer is dangerous today. Because if you have come here 
And I believe not that this bitterness of this our heat will not go in vain. But God will reply to us. I therefore say that if, if this prayer is correct, is true, we expect by all means the result of this prayer we expect so many good things to happen. This prayer should not go without good result. Many things should happen in this country. What are they? Some of them are peace. Peace. What are we here for? The Excellency, I read there those writings. We are standing for peace. We are praying for peace. Manatu sunni na jina hina sanbes as salam. Wa salawat bitani na fiilan. Fikin ma wahid bita belad de salam. U salam, u salam. That is why we have come here. And that is why we have accepted the call of the president. Because all of us, what is in our heart, what is tormenting us when I see these people sitting in the heat since this morning? Some of them are since yesterday evening they slept here. Why? Salam. Just because of peace. And therefore, these good things should happen after this prayer. Peace. Justice. Love. Forgiveness. Reconciliation, genuine, genuine dialogue, the rule of law should be happening after this prayer. Good governance, security, good economy, good economy, provision of essential commodities in the market and so many others, which we have heard from the prayers of this day. These things, beginning with the peace and on and so many others, we expect them to happen after this prayer, as a result of this prayer. If this prayer is correct, if we have prayed well, then God, our Father, Listen to our prayer. Otherwise, otherwise, if this prayer is misused, if this prayer is misused, then, your excellence and my brothers and sisters, we shall surely go back to evil. If we did not pray well, or if we have misused this prayer for other purposes, and not for peace, justice, and true reconciliation, then we are going back to evil and not to peace. And the fruits of evil are violence, killing, that is with us, Raping our women and children, we have heard. We shall go back to these things. Torture, looting, corruption among us, arbitrary arrest and detention. Thank you, Your Excellency. You have released some people today. I think as Christians, 
and people of God, we are very happy and grateful to you. We would have wished today that you free all the prisons in the country so that they are all clean and we begin anew. But Malaysia, this we begin with them. The rest will come. So arbitrary detention and arrest, tribalism, Yaofana, tribalism, Gabalia, Kanin Kan Salade, Maesa, Nina Baradia Fi Gabalia. Discrimination, oppression, and so on, and so many others. If this prayer is not correct. My dear people of God, peace, either peace or evil, is the result of our prayer. What are we going to choose? What are we going to choose? Peace or evil? Your Excellency, I want to question you. Why did you call these people to the heat here like this? Are they coming to choose evil or to choose peace? Is that what your intention is? To bring us to suffer like this, simply to suffer? I hope somebody will not be sick today because of this heat. I believe you have invited us to see this suffering because you want peace. And so, we, my brothers and sisters, what do we choose after this prayer? Peace or evil? Our government. Our government. Which way are you going to take now, after this prayer? What is our government going to take? What is it going to do after this prayer? Is the government going to choose evil or peace? Let the government go to think about it. I've already asked you, Mr. President, you have called for this prayer. And as you see these children, there was the small boy who was praying today and weeping. I also began to weep. Good enough, I did not see him. I should have wept a lot. But the boy talked. What is my problem to suffer now like a small boy like that, that I don't read? There is no money in the, for school. Why? Because we don't have peace. I think the intention, Mr. President, you ask now is peace and not war and not evil. The Arabic would say, Mr. President, I'm always Sabak after this. I think we are telling you that after this prayer, your, your Excellency, go into the room, go to pray, and decide for peace in the country. As to all of us, you have already answered, my brothers and sisters, let us, all of us who have come here today for this prayer, all of us, let us choose the way to peace and not to evil. Let us go home and choose peace, not evil. And so our way forward now is walking and choosing and acting and doing for peace and not for evil 
and not for war. I want to say to all of you, God bless you.